Uh, hi guys. Um, Rathia. Uh, apparently I've gotten a problem. One of the connectors for the Z has broken. Because just talking it too much. Here it is. Uh, sorry, it has snapped. Uh, I've tried making another one. I'd even tried to make other. Uh, this is like the third version. The first one was hanging off here, the second one was hanging off here and here. But the resistance was just too much. The third one. I've removed everything it's now hanging from here only but apparently the resistance is just too much uh, it can't move anymore If I put this here for holding here, it becomes even worse. It doesn't even rotate. And you know, as it homes, as it goes down, this tends to unthread itself and go up. So, it's not a problem when it's going up, when the gantry is going up, but it's a problem when the gantry is going down because the thread, as it's unthreading itself, it's, the force is going up, so it tends to go loose. Um, uh, I'm not. I'm not really sure. Let me just wait for the threads, the threaded rods. But apparently they are showing signs of failure. I may not reach. I I think I ordered the chipset, which which has not been found. I will have maybe to reorder again, with some new new ones. Let me just wait. Uh, I'd, uh, I'd ordered uh, some Acme threads. Okay, I'd found some Acme threads at uh, 13, 33. That's roughly, roughly ten dollars or eleven. But uh, as you know, that's cheap for for such type of threads. So. They've never been found. It's, it's usually roughly 26 something, 2650. Uh, roughly 24, 23, $23. Uh, uh, planning to cancel that one and take, take another one for some three or four stainless steel. There will be M8, but one millimeter thread. Okay, not okay, this, these are these are M10s. This is this and them. But I found some M8, but threaded, obviously threaded with a better lathe because they are for sale. So the threads will be, a, will be of better quality, but same pitch. But obviously, you know, with this pitch, is tricky to move it for the name. It's slightly relaxing. That's why people usually use the Acme threads, the 2mm pitch plus they are trapezoidal shaped so chances of getting stuck up many more but uh, if I have to go that one I need four of them each of them is 26 2600 that's roughly expensive uh, let me let me go in steps because I know that eventually I'll end up having to order the actual acme but let let the print at least make some Make me some money so it can convert the thing. Or not, not, not really make. Let let the, let it work for for a bit. So at least I have a cheap bill. So I'm planning to take the eight mm um, to one pitch and see what will happen. But as for the moment, uh, let me call the movement of the axis. Let me put a, a stop to it.
let me go to the hot end back back to the hot end figure out the PIDs get back to 100 safely then I now step up because the code is already there after the PID I can test the filament sensor because it doesn't require movements so for the probe probably just have to wait we'll have to wait for the Z2 to move but on the other plan um, I'm planning to build a new frame I don't know if I've informed you um, this frame is height for the second frame it's height but uh, then, okay the dimension I, I, I want to want I want to add a new motor for the z-axis so I just feel I'm starting to feel having one is not is not enough for for the z it's common practice to have two so the plan was like have something bolted here then add a stepper this will be an l-shaped so we'll have like this and then another extension here and then i put like a stepper here and then stands here on the power supply the power supply might bolt it at the back so i'll have at least two z's but uh that's just a plan so i just found uh, it's slightly better to just make a, a new frame instead of modifying the frame that i have it's gonna be trickier so it's just better to i do it on autocad uh as you saw i had made a i'll try drain a, let me show you I tried drawing a, a five axis printer. And there's the videos for this are recorded on the other phone. I'll upload them this time. So this time I was seriously battling in space on this one. Just want to move the axis just so. X and then Z and then Y it, it's plain because of the tolerance that I've kept so just play with it and then there is now A the fourth axis and then now the fifth one B and if you can see it rotating and the base just circular at least you can see so yeah that's the five axis printer Obviously the nozzle will be here, so So I want to I'll draw another. And then these are the things since I'm making it out of wood, this this frame is one continuous piece. It will be cut as an L-shaped, no, as a C-shaped because of strength. Because as you see in this printer, it's swapping this way, it's sharing along these lines. And then here I'll make it thicker. I'll add another. This was just for stimulation, but I'll add, add another wood here at the bottom, and then another one here. So it will act like supports and still as base, as a new base. And then, since this is continuous block, I'll add another wood at the top, and then these are supports for this one. 
for not leaning back and forth. And then these are the linear guide rails. Yeah, that's just basically it. So I'll have to draw a new one for for this printer. And then the plan is uh, I'll use uh, the I found a guy with a CNC. So we'll CNC cut the, the frame. If that's the, the, the new plan. It will be steadier, it will be much more accurate, I can have better tolerances, which will mean eventually I'll eventually be able to run better speeds, higher speeds, something of the sort. So yeah, but obviously you know you need and then the main main thing that I will be facing, the challenge that I'll be facing using Inventor will be the tolerances. Okay, I'll need to figure out where to place the screws, the motors and stuff because it's not my... I'm not fully acquainted with uh, joints using screws and I'm just using this joint and constraint which in the real world don't really apply. For here it applies well because it just constrains planes like a planer to a plane that will work good. But now like the actual where to place the screws, where to place the bearings, like this needs a bearing for here and here. There's another one here, somewhere here. These are these are whole step up mounted to a plate. That way, but it looks round. I'll have to shape this later. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we, that's, the, that's roughly the plan. So we'll just come add the motors because, as you can see, the tolerance is roughly tight. The Z motors will go here, that's already, they'll be mounted on along here, that's planned for. For this will be set set here. Uh, for this for this axis, I'm not sure I'll put the the motor. Those are the things I need now to come figure out because this is just a working frame. To be honest, but it is at least like a motor for the extruder and there's like a motor for this the A. No, for the B the B axis just need to figure out for the Z it's already figured out this doesn't have so or even the motors might go at the back let's see how the back looks if there's some space uh, yeah I can do some some mounting here but it will need to be slightly wider because this will be on the way, will be on the way of it. Uh, this is what to go here. So this will be either we'll have to protrude at the back for it to have or it has an it, it will have an extension somewhere around here for it to have supports to for the motors. I'll come to add that later. The motors will sit at the front. Let me just make it easier. So now what I'm left with are the supports. Will be somehow low. I'll put the supports low. Yeah. And since it will be protruding like this, you can mount a motor at the top of that support to hold this arm for the gantry. That's sorted. So motor for this sorted, motor for this sorted. For the bed is now what I'm missing because I made it slightly thin. Or I can just fix them here. I can just about fit. <laughs> that will be a tight fit because you see, or I do them the bed I, I lower, I raise the bed. Because, okay, yeah, I'll do them here. But that's one. I'll have to find a space for it here. I have to. So this is a spacing that it's almost off. So 
don't have a motor for the bed. Let me, I'll, once I figure where I put the bed motor, I'll get back to you. So yeah, let me first wait for the threads, as wait for the threads, I'll be designing a new frame. When the threads come, I'll install it on the, in this printer first, before I do the new frame first, because it's roughly a new budget. At the end of the day, I was to have a cheap printer, so, and um, I'm almost going over budget, because printers currently are at 50, uh, not 50. Get, uh, let me just say 60k, roughly 6, uh, 60k will be 6k, 600 dollars, or 700, um, and for like the place, the place that I'm getting my parts, the cheapest printer they have is at 137k. That's uh, that's roughly twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, that's twelve hundred dollars for. So yeah, still roughly under budget. Uh, the parts, the parts that I got. Uh, let me do a rough estimate. Looking at each, let's start here. Uh, the servos, the steppers, I got them for 25. So I have four steppers at the moment. One, two, four. That's 10k. Uh, the heat bed, I got it for 45 plus its accessories. So that's another, we're at 14. The hot end assembly, I got it for something eight or 65 no eight eight or six so let me put it at seven so i'm roughly at 21k the ramps board plus the polulus plus the riprap uh, full discount the display i got them for I, that time it was 65 or 85 so let me put it at seven so i'm going jumping 28k power supply that's 3k bought two of them the first one was out so 21 we go to 27k um what else other sensors are bought separately the actual things that are bought are a lot trust me um, Bought some steppers, I mean some sensors, some some not related. Then I was buying some things for the drone project. I'll not include that bill there. There's some things like these drill bits, the tools that I was using, because most of the tools are roughly roughly new. Uh, So currently, the mod stands at roughly 20, 28, and that's overestimating. So let me add a bit. So the printer is roughly at 35k. Adding now, oh, I haven't now added the frame. The frame, uh, we were building a house. So there was a, there was like an apartment being renovated. So I found some wood for free. Uh, this this wood is okay. I'll, I'll say it's free, but it wasn't really free. But a whole wood, uh, the whole wood, roughly twice the size of this foam board. It will go at thirty one hundred. And then there's now the labor for the guy. The guy we just we just did like a three hundred thingy and we shaked three dollars. It was a good day. <laughs> good carpenter. Yeah, plus I learned a lot that day. So, uh, and then, then um, the other thing is, 
Is there anything that I haven't added to this budget that you can see it there? End stops came with a screen package. Hot end and oh, but they haven't included the extruder. But we are already at 35k, and that's estimating some things. So the extruder, extruder set plus its motor was roughly at five. 4 to 6k so let me put it at 5k rather 6 let me let me start using the uh, margin 6k so that was 28 yeah that's 6 35 roughly 35 yeah I'm, 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 I'm estimating this printer to cost 35 36k so in short i have four printers to build for me to get to a legit printer Four printers are a lot of printers, so this is the second frame. <laughs> First frame, the wood was all um, okay, about free. No wood, the wood, wood can be found at the shed for the things, for the shelves, the wardrobes that were being made for the house, the extra wood that remains. Yeah. So, maximum Kabisa Kabisa, this thing is at 45. And that's adding plus the, the, the filament sensors that I've been buying, the things that are 600. Maybe we add the sodas, cigarettes, and maybe some bags of smoking. But that's not a big thing. So, yeah, 46. Uh, that's overestimating. So, actual actual cost is 36. The few, few labors, 46. Yeah. So, what's the by the cost budget of my printer planning to add now the threaded rods because that's a fail but oh i didn't add the the labor for buying the rods the rods four of them i bought them at 300 that's three dollars was it one or yeah 300 let me just approximate there are two of them so it comes 600 because but yeah it's 300 machining them to get them to where they, they are now it costed me 1000 shillings that's ten dollars so yeah i've added up my costs yeah, that's about it so the print is at 36 you should to estimate it well 46 50 they're just yeah i'm just about like a cheap printer so if you find a printer that's at priced at 50 something or 60 something k and it's a 3D printer. That's that's the price of a 2D printer banner. Uh, yeah, roughly in business, you can you can make some money. That means uh, we can make someone a print and actually sell him and something of this sort. You you understand? So yeah, let me let me end the video here. I'm actually even out of time. So that's my analysis. Le we just wait for new threaded rods apparent but otherwise the z moved it has moved twice thrice well and then i did some minor adjustment tweaks to that um, either it's breaking or the position that it was it was like literally hold it was hanging by a string in that position so and it worked in that car position um yeah that's it that's my analysis that's my my build mm, i can say it's 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 a complete printer it's just that the z okay it's not yet complete the probe the probe the probe and the filament sensor i haven't tested yet but every other component is tested i haven't tested the bed to get it to like actual temperature and maintaining it at temperature but i've heated up the bed I haven't maintained it, so there's that part of it. Hot end, I've maintained it. It's, right here. it's roughly easier. So yeah, my failing points are at Z, and from the Z you can't really test the probe well, and I don't want to like manually test it, and it be like a kabazenga thing. So yeah, that's it. Please do like my videos, share your mates and subscribe uh, for more for more yeah now let me think of that
and a cahot and ye, ye bo.